In this video, I'm going to show you how you can clip between two pivot tables on one sheet. Here I have pivot tables that it's about some sales data. And if this is my first pivot table, so I'd, so I'd like to see what my second pivot table is. So I can click the button and then I will see the data and the chart that's associated with the second pivot table. Possibly you wanted to go back to the first pivot table. So you click the first pivot table and there you are back at your first one. Let me show you how I did this. So here's my basic data that I started with. Um, so how I'm going to create a pivot table is I'm going to click into my data. I'm going to go to the insert tab and I'm going to click on table. Uh, my, my, da my data contains headers. So I'll make sure that this is, um, is clicked and I'll say OK. And then from here, I'm going to go one more time to the insert tab and I'm going to click on uh, pivot tables. Okay, I'm going to create table one and it's going to put it on a new sheet and this is fine. And I'm going to say, okay. For my first pivot table, I'm going to select salesperson. And I'm going to put it in the rows. And then I'm going to select the amount and I'm going to put it in the sum of values here. Um, I would like this to be displayed as um, currency. So I'm going to drop this down, select value field settings, select number format. And I'm going to select currency and I don't, don't need any decimal places. And so I'm going to say, okay. And okay again. Okay. Now I would like there to be, um, a cal calculated field in here. So I, I'm going to click on the analyze and I'm going to go to calculations, fields and item sets. And I'm going to do a calculated field here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to calculate their commissions. And so their commission is whatever they sold times, let's say 7%. So I am going to put, I'm going to select um, amount. I'm going to put in star for times and times 0 0.07. So that, that works out to be, um, the 7% and so I'm going to say OK and fortunately it goes in in this the same format. Now I would also like to put on um, put on a chart here. So I'm going to go pivot chart and I'm going to select um, I think I'm going to select this one and I'm going to say OK and then I'm going to line it up with, with the pivot chart itself. Now I'm going to go back to my data and I'm going to select and I'm going to create another pivot table on the same data. So let's go back to sheet one and let's go to the insert tab and I'm going to insert and I'm going to insert a pivot table and I'm going to put it on an existing worksheet and I'm going to select the location. So I'm going to go to sheet two and I'm going to go down a few rows here and I'm going to select there and then I'm going to say, okay. And so now for my second pivot table, I would like um, the type of equipment that they sold or the type of equipment. And so I'm going to put the type in the rows and I'm going to put the amount in the value field settings. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make um, a pie chart to display this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this. I'm going to go to my analyze. I'm going to select pivot chart. 
I'm going to select the pie. I like the 3D pies. And so I'm going to say OK. And now, once again, I'm going to make, um, make this very close to where my data is. Now, how I did this is I made ranges for each of these, these sets of data. So what I've done is now I go to the first chart and I select, um, actually, let's put in a couple rows here so I can put buttons in afterwards. Um, okay, so now I'm going to select from the cell where the first, over the first chart or the, the pivot chart and include all the area that includes the pivot, uh, the pivot table and the pivot chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the name box and I'm going to name this um, pivot chart one. And then I'm going to press enter. For the ch second chart, I'm going to select a couple rows of there a row above this one and to the left of it or to the right of it I'm sorry and slightly below and I'm going to name this pivot chart 2 and I'm going to press enter now we can Go back and forth making sure that, that we have entered these right we'll go to pivot chart one and then we'll go to pivot chart two now this works nice except for we want to hide them and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to the developer tab and then i'm going to go into my visual basic so i've got my visual basic up here i go insert and i go module and i'm left with this and this this is what i put in my module i have Two, two, two little macros, and the one is um, show, uh, show chart two, and it is range pivot chart one entire row hidden equals true, range pivot chart two entire row hidden equals false, and then I have show uh, chart one, and I, um, I have uh, range pivot chart two hidden true, and range pivot chart one hidden false. And so that's exactly how I get it to go back and forth. I assign these to buttons. Um, and so I get asked this quite a bit, so I'll show you how I do that. And so, so I have buttons here already, but let me show you how to do another one. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm on the developer tab and we have our toolbox here. You drop down the list arrow, you select a button from the form controls at the top here. And so I'm going to draw a button here. When you draw a button here, then it asks you um, which one to choose. And so I'm going to say show chart one, and that's how it works. Now, to change the text, you either click on it and then um, delete and put your text in, or you can right click right click on it and choose edit text. So now we are able to choose between our two, um, our two pivot tables by the click of a button. So this is how you click between pivot tables in Excel. Please subscribe.